what's the crack? It's currently 10 to 5 in the morning. I haven't slept yet. It's been. Let me do the maths. It's been nearly 20 hours since the last time I was asleep. I woke up at 9 o'clock yesterday morning, and in 4 hours it'll be 9 o'clock. I got home late, edited day 1. By the time I uploaded and processed at 3 o'clock, then I had to bring two people up to the airport. I'm just back from that now. I left here at like 20 past 4, it took a half an hour. Now I'm going in to get a bit of sleep. It's 10 to 5, I'm going in to try and get as much sleep as possible. It's already bright out, which means it's probably going to be bright out in the, bright in the bedroom. Which means the baby is going to wake up, she doesn't sleep, she wakes up early, she wakes up throughout the night. But once it's bright out, she thinks it's daytime. I'm going to go in and I'm going to try and get a bit of sleep. I feel like I'm just babbling on because of how tired I am. Seriously, I have to go in. I've been sitting here for nearly three minutes now talking to this camera. I have to go in and try and catch a few Zs. But yeah, Maxie, I'm going to go in now because she's going to wake up in like two hours time. Three hours time, hopefully. But more than likely two hours time and I'm not going to have any sleep. Right. So I'm going to leave it there and... I pick up in the morning. It's half seven. She got pretty fed up of sleeping. Oh, I'm wrecked. Talk to you later. What's the crack? Showered, washed, cleaned. Three of them are the same thing. Two hour nap. Two hours? Yeah, maybe a two hour nap. Fed, watered. I'm away to the shop because I can't do this. I'm already craving a can of coke. Or two. Yes, I had none today. I'm craving it all day. My mouth's so dry of a headache because I need the sugar. This, this is hard. I don't think I'll be able to give up coke this easy. I'm saying I won't be able to go with a little cold turkey and maybe if I had a little bit every day just to get me a little kick out of it for a while. I have a good substitute with like coke zero or something, but it's not as nice. It's just as bad for you and it's not as nice. So I'm on my way to the shop now. Grab myself some coke, some milk. I think that's it. You know, do I think that coke is addictive? Yes, extremely addictive. The sugar, caffeine, I don't even know what else is in it. I think I rely on it. I find it very hard to function without some coke. Like yesterday I didn't have any. I spent all day thinking about it. So when I woke up this morning, it was already in my mind. I just needed it. Now I waited nearly half the day before I had this when I went to shop and got it. And then I have another one in the freezer getting cold so that I can have it when I'm out. I want to give up coke. I tried before, I think I went 20 something days before and I was just drinking water. I think I substituted it with a bit of like 7 up 3 or something. But it's extremely addictive. I can't even describe how addictive it is. It's just nice. It's just the nicest drink. It's wrecked my teeth. Like I would have to get 4 or 5 fillings I think. I only got a tooth pulled out there. Look at that big gap. That's on drinking coke. I had to get that tooth pulled out a while ago. I still have like a constant toothache down here. Oh, it's, it's terrible. I know, I know I need to give it up, but I honestly don't think I can. Let's show you the illustration I've done about what Coke does to your body in like 60 minutes or just after you drink it anyways. Watch this. Okay, so let's start. Right, so I think I'm just going to do a voiceover. Well, not a voiceover, I'm just going to read out the lines because save you the hassle of having to do it anyways. So, in the first 10 minutes after drinking a can of coke, you've put 10 spoonfuls of sugar into your body. After 20 minutes, your blood sugar spikes, causing an insulin boost, and your liver turns whatever sugar it can get its hand on into fat. 40 minutes after, your pupils dilate, basically looking like you've just done some drugs. Your blood pressure spikes and your adrenaline, I don't know, the word receptors in your brain block your, uh, whatever it is, the senses block to prevent drowsiness. After 45 minutes, your body increases dopamine production, which simulates pleasure centers of the brain. That's the exact same thing as what happens with heroin. After 60 minutes, your brain sends calcium, magnesium, and zinc to the lower intestine to increase your metabolism. After the 60 minutes, your caffeine's diuretic properties come into play, which makes you piss a lot. 
which evacuates the calcium, the magnesium and the zinc that's needed in your body. After 60 minutes you get a sugar crash which makes it sluggish and irritable. By now you've pissed out all of the water that was needed in your body and all the water that was in the coke has now left your body too and as well as that nutrient that is needed in your body for strong bones and teeth is now gone. Right well anyways thanks for watching today. Apologies for a bad video, bit of bad planning, lack of time and fatigue sort of got the better of me today so I've just done this quick video uh, in a short space of time that was needed, I say short space of time, it's now quarter to two it's not finished yet but like I recorded it in a short space of time today tomorrow should be better, hopefully, maybe, I'm not sure come back and you'll see yourself anyways this is day two in a row, this is me finishing thanks for watching See you tomorrow.